Doug Wright here with Denver Water, construction manager on the Gross Reservoir Expansion Project. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of the early elements of work out here. So the Gross Reservoir Expansion Project includes raising the dam that exists here, 131 feet. Early work on the project involves site development, we call it. We have to establish some flat areas for the major equipment that's coming in. Because we're producing our own aggregates on site, uh, we have a lot of plant equipment to put in for our machinery to be installed on. The foundation excavation is quite extensive this project. Roughly a quarter million yards of rock is going to be removed on both sides of the dam in order to expose the foundation that we're going to put the new structure on. So a lot of the rock that you see on the sides of the dam is going to be removed through our drilling and blasting project. The drilling takes quite a bit longer than the actual blasting. They're not very big and those are going to work their way from the top of the abutment all the way to the bottom of the dam. It's a 500 deep foundation, so it takes quite a while to get the foundation exposed for this project. Okay, you can see that the water level's a little low in the reservoir right now. That's pretty normal for this time of year. Runoff hasn't started just yet. We're gonna keep the reservoir down during construction. We have some removals to do at the spillway. We have some work to do on the upstream face of the dam. Throughout the course of five years of construction, the water level in our reservoir will be lowered, but we'll still be operating the dam. We're gonna maintain flows through our outlet works, through the power plant during construction, but the reservoir is gonna look low. We're still gonna have recreation, but it's gonna be a little bit different than past years when we were able to fill the dam completely. It is important to pay attention to the signage around our project. We post notices prior to any blast so that you know when those are gonna happen. And also there's areas that we don't want the public to enter just to keep everyone safe. So be mindful of our signage. The workers will tell you if you're entering a zone that we have a restriction. We want you to be safe. If you have questions, again, go to grassreservoir.org. Lots of information there about what's going on with the project.